How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pepper. Today we are going to be looking at a very very expensive player, world best Ibra Himovic. Now the reason I'm doing him is because I see that more and more people are requesting for high value players. I guess many people are getting more EPs now and that is why all of you can afford more expensive player and that is why we are doing, I think he is like the second most expensive player in the game behind World Best CR, alright? Let's begin by looking at his stats first. Now, I would like to point out that unfortunately, this version of Ibra is only 192 instead of 195. I would have loved his 195 version, but uh, that is what it is, so we have to accept it. So, the first thing you see is his crazy strength. He's got 88 strength. Stamina is a tad low, 77. He's not famous for his pace, so he's in 180. That is quite slow like, by today's standard. The jump is decent for big men. Generally, tall players have low jump one. Generally, but he's at 85 is already pretty good. And then his agility is also considered very good. And that is also against Norma. Generally, big men are like lumbering one. If you think Jogba, Luka Tony, Lukaku, all these are like big, tall, but clunky. Whereas his is in 6. It's got good balance to him, 85, and his dribbling and close controls are very good. Crossing is not his forte, obviously. Short passing is also 81. His finishing is very, very good, 93. And then his shot power is also very, very good, 91. His heading uh, is 83. I am not sure if I agree with it because I've seen Ibra, you know, in Man United, and he seemed to be very good in the air. So I'm not sure if 83 is accurate, but nonetheless, that is what it is. And uh, long shot body, obviously very good. He's technically very sound. Like Ibra penalty is 86. And he's got good positioning as well. Decent reaction, 77. I would say below average aggression. Okay, let's go and look at his styles. He's got a lot of them. He's got goal master, finisher, target man, area control. This is something that he, he was added in after the World Best update. The area control, dribble master, tanker, sniper, free kick, and act. Acrobatic, he is obviously acrobatic, obviously. Work rate not ideal, mid low. Like I said, I always like high low, high mid, but this is mid low. He's got a few traits to him. Skill move king, which I think uh, means when you perform a skill with him, it is a bit better compared to those without the skill move king. Let me know in the comment below whether you feel there's a difference with or without the skill move king, right? Sniper means that his long shot is extra accurate. Playmaker. So his ball passer, so his passes are nicer, so to speak. His price is obviously very expensive, about 4.3, 4.8 billion man. So he's not a player that is readily affordable. You probably uh, have topped up quite a bit in order to have that amount of money. Now, before we proceed to the in-game analysis, I just want to show you guys quickly, you know, how Ibra's step will look like in a proper team, alright? So if I, you guys should know I have a world best team and then with all the colors and whatnot, attributes like enhance like all these things added, added in with my growth. This is something I can talk about because I used Ibra and I pump heading for him instead of jump or sprint because for me, the way I use him, I like his heading to be a bit better. So that's what I plump for and it also increases his overall by one. So as you can see, in a team right, Ibra is not slow one. With your stuff, with the colors, with your whatnot, his sprint is 115. That is easily faster than a lot of defenders really. Crazy strength, crazy stamina. You know, acceleration is a bit low lah, but his jump is also... Imagine a 192 specimen jumping at, with a jump of 111 flying in your face. That is scary, okay? His agility, you know, he's like a ballerina. 116, very good balance as well. His dribbling, his ball control. You know, his uh, finishing is almost 120 already. And his shot power, his hitting, everything is 1 1 0 and above, you know. Penalties, positioning, and that is the step that you are going to be expecting when you put Ibra in a proper world best team, alright? Let's go into the in game analysis and I'll show you guys how good he is. First thing is he's built like an absolute tank. There are not many defenders that can muscle him off the ball, okay? Even though he's not very fast because of his body like his 192 and his weight as well as 95 kg and it's got 88 strength as long as he's in front of the defender right it is impossible and i say it is impossible for the defender to win the ball behind him unless he slide and somehow can put his leg in front of ibra 
other than that, there's no way a defender can win the ball behind Ibra. He's that strong and that is very very good. His dribbling and ball control as well as agility makes him a very unique player because most big men like I said are cumbersome but he is super agile one so you can when you take the ball you can feel that he's pretty light you know he can twist and turn he's very fluid like slime like that you know ballerina like that very fluid easy to, to move about ball control and dribbling are very high which is very very important one this is something that I will touch on in a separate video about ball control and dribbling which I found out but what I found out in summary is that ball control and dribbling do play a part in how good a player's control of the ball is like last time i used to say it doesn't matter but it actually matters so i'll talk about that in another separate video but ibra has extremely good ball control right he's a relatively high jump step as well as header stats if you choose to put your growth point in headers means that he is a area threat definitely 192 with what 111 jump is really crazy one and he's got crazy strength to push defender away so that he can win the header so in terms of area ability he is there so don't have to worry that is one big weakness before the world best update but they have rectified it he is now a area track he's also acrobatic and this is something that i find that uh, it happens to him a bit more like he likes to do the bicycle kick la. so if your crosses are slightly behind him or slightly lower instead of he heading or, or just kick it he'll do the bicycle kick one so this is like Ibra trademark and like all world best is five star skills which means that you can do a scoop turn which is super important let's quickly move on to weaknesses he's got a, a few of them actually the first one is that he's not the quickest player so without any boost at all he might feel a bit slow and not so suitable for the high through game but if you want to use him and high through like you can use your staff and your growth and then his speed will be crazy like in my team is already 115 imagine i put another five or four Spring that to him that will be 119 so it's like as fast as Alba as fast as Torres really so it's something that can be rectified and corrected he also does not have the power header trait unlike Drogba or Luca Toni so that might affect the strength of his header a little bit but I've used him for so long generally he's devastating in the air like. his headers are quite powerful one and that is why I pump heading stats because I feel that the higher the heading stats the harder or the more powerful the header, more accurate and more powerful. That's why I'd rather pump heading than jump. And uh, last thing is annoying, is something that can't be helped. He is not 195. I would have loved a 195 World Best Ibra, but somehow they say that the 192 version of him when he was 192 was the best version of him, and that is what we have. So it's it's not it's not a weakness per se, but it's just something annoying. So overall I would rate him a 9 out of 10, one point deducted for his a uh, slight lack of pace but again it is something ca that can be rectified relatively easily he is a obvious threat in the air and his agility and dexterity means that you can take the ball with him and twist and turn and weave your way into the box with ease is he worth it 4.3 billion this is a very tough question to be honest if you ask me i would say uh ibra is fantastic he's an absolute physical specimen very very good player to use in a game but 4.3 billion is also very very expensive i personally believe that for the crossing game luca tony is better okay because he's tall and got a power hitter trick but he lacks the agility and the five star skill so after much thinking i would say that 4.3 billion for world best ibra is not worth it because okay there are other options if you're not using a world best team if you're using a normal upgraded team there are other options but if you are using a world best team then obviously he is like your only option for a good target man other than drop bar and yeah so basically that's what i feel so basically that is all i have for this review videos hope you guys enjoy this give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more review videos let me know what you guys think about world best ibra and let me know if you guys want me to continue reviewing expensive players from time to time okay so don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you soon